So the past couple weeks for mental math and measurement, you have been practicing measuring things in both centimeters and millimeters. And when we're practicing measuring things, we are really careful to make sure that our ruler lines up with the very edge of the object that we're measuring. But what happens if we don't have the edge of the ruled ruler to use? Maybe our ruler is broken, or maybe it's something where we have to measure it kind of in the middle. Today, I'm going to teach you two different ways that you can measure things when it doesn't start at zero. So we're going to use centimeters today. And when we look at our object on here, we have a paper clip. And you'll notice it's lined up kind of in the middle of my ruler. So not starting all the way back here at zero, but it's actually starting right here, isn't it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle where it starts. It starts at my four centimeters, but then I also want to mark where it ends. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up. It ends here at my 10 centimeters. So does that mean that this paper clip is 10 centimeters long? No, it doesn't because I didn't start all the way back here at zero. I started at four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make jumps until I get to 10 to see how many centimeters is this actually. So if I start at four, let's make some jumps. I go one jump, two jumps, three, four, five, six. So our, our paper clip would be six centimeters long. Let's look at another example. Now I have a pencil. So same thing, my pencil doesn't start back here at zero, but this time it starts at two. So I'm gonna go ahead and circle my two, and now let's look and see where it ends. It ends at down here by the 17. So again, my paper or my pencil isn't 17 centimeters long, so let's make some jumps to see how long is it actually. So let's start at the two, and let's make our jumps up to 17, and we will count our jumps as we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So our pencil was fifteen centimeters long. All right, let's try this next one. Now I have an iPhone that we're gonna measure. So again, it doesn't start at zero. Let's mark where it starts and where it ends. So it's gonna start around the five centimeter mark and it's gonna end around the 15 centimeter mark. So another way that we could do this instead of making the jumps is we can actually set up a subtraction problem because what I wanna know is I wanna know it doesn't start at 15 and all of this distance would be the total 15 but it starts at 5 so I want to take out this chunk so if I know from start to finish equals 15 centimeters but this chunk right here equals 5 centimeters I can set up a subtraction problem <clears throat> so I would solve this as 15 minus 5 and that's what would give me this middle part right here which is how long my phone is so 15 minus 5 equals 10 centimeters all right let's look at this last one now I have this delicious looking rainbow cupcake so let's mark the beginning and the end Let's see, if I look at the farthest side of this, it looks like it starts around two centimeters. Let's go to the edge of this one. It looks like it's at eight centimeters. So I want you to decide, well, how wide is our cupcake? How many centimeters would it be? It's not gonna be eight. So go ahead and you can either make jumps or you can set up a subtraction problem. All right, did you get your answer? Hopefully you found that this delicious cupcake is six centimeters wide.